Welcome to our Open Day event. My name is Meryl Greeny and I'm Principal here at Derwent College. This Open Day is a little different and until you're able to come and visit us in person, we aim to give you a flavour of what being a student at Derwent College is like. Today you'll meet some of our staff and take a look around our beautiful site and you'll see where our students live, work and spend their leisure time. I'm handing you over now to our Head of Curriculum, Zoe Wood. Hi, I'm Zoe Wood and I'm Head of Curriculum at Derwent College. At Derwent College you can learn work skills in hospitality and housekeeping, retail, performing arts and horticulture. As a residential student you can live on site in one of our residences. You will have your own room, you'll be given support to plan and make your own meals, You'll be able to watch TV and relax and learn to do your own washing. We also have day students here on site and at our satellite sites in Walford and Craven Arts. We have a student union board and Duke of Edinburgh awards which are really popular. We also have a hydrotherapy pool and a gym for therapies. We're now going to take a look at each of the pathway areas where our students work. Hello, my name is Alison and I am the Hospitality and Housekeeping Pathway Lead. As a Hospitality and Housekeeping student, you will learn relevant industry standard vocational course skills in hospitality, catering and housekeeping, as well as accessing discrete sessions in health and safety and food hygiene. Our accreditation programme offers you the opportunity to study a wide range of units at varying levels from entry level one, exploring catering, to level one, food and beverage service. Our internal work experience areas offers you the opportunity to transfer your taught skills into realistic working environments. You can train in our restaurant, garden cafe, food production centre, or even at our very own hotel. As your skills progress, you will hopefully be able to undertake external work experience we have excellent links with local teams and national businesses, such as Premier Inn, where you can work in service or housekeeping. Or you may like the opportunity to work back or front of house in a local school, or try an evening shift in the local Italian restaurant. The links we have with industry has provided positive outcomes for our graduates in various work placements, both paid and voluntary. Therefore, when you visit Durham College, make sure you pay a visit to the Hospitality and Housekeeping Pathway so you can see for yourself the great things that we do. Hello, I'm Shonez and I'm the Pathway Lead for Horticulture. On the horticulture pathway, you will enhance and develop your skills and understanding of this area. First of all, you will learn core skills that include plant production, plant maintenance and customer service. Sessions take place in our award-winning walled garden, greenhouses and our garden centre courtyard. We also offer two different types of qualifications in horticulture. These are a Gorid Henry Explorer in Horticulture and City and Guild skills for working life. As your horticulture experience develops, you will hopefully be able to undertake external work experience. We have strong links within the local area that provide work placements for our students, Oswald Street Cemetery and TMO Country Park to name a few. Furthermore, 
you will have the opportunity to get involved in seasonal planting in local towns and villages. The best thing about horticulture is that we have a garden centre on site that is open to the local community that allows you to further your skills in familiar settings. scenery making, digital performance, to name just a few. All these core skills will support you to strengthen your creative interests, imagination, confidence and communication skills. We offer two different qualifications, our Goddard Cymru, Exploring Creative Industries, and our BTEC Vocational Studies qualification with a performing arts focus. Internal work experience placements within performing arts are varied and include a range of both on stage and backstage production. We have a range of external work placements to support the natural progression of a young budding performers with strong links with two well-established performing arts companies within both England and Wales. The best part about the performing arts cafe is without a doubt the shows. It's a busy, exciting time where students have the opportunity to showcase their skills and talents in front of a live audience. The Performing Arts Pathway enhances communication, interaction, confidence and product building skills delivered through an exciting, vibrant and creative curriculum. Hello, my name is Charlotte and I'm the Pathway Lead for Retail Studies. As a Retail Pathway student, you will learn relevant industry standard vocational retail skills. These retail skills include areas such as customer service, money handling and basic administration. You will learn in classroom settings and also in our work-based areas in the garden centre, cart and print shop and hotel 751. We offer two different qualifications, Agorid Cymru Extended Award in Retail and Admin and City and Guilds Award in Introduction to Retail Studies with the possibility of progressing onto a certificate. As your retail skills progress, you will hopefully be able to undertake external work experience. We have strong links for local teams and national businesses such as SPA, Co-op, British Heart Foundation and Nightingale to name a few. Other opportunities as a Retail Pathway student include getting involved in charity and community events. Retail students enjoy backpacking at Sainsbury's and Morrison's and running pop-up market stalls. The best thing about retail studies is all the links we have with industry that has provided positive outcomes for our graduates in various placements, both paid and voluntary. Hello, my name is Jennifer Fawcett-Jones and I'm the Curriculum Manager here at Durban College. The Work Skills Pathway is designed to support young people gain the necessary work skills to access their chosen vocational area. This could be extra support with communication, interaction, teamwork, problem solving and self-regulation. The Work Skills Pathway is bespoke to each individual learner and works closely alongside the speech and language and OT teams here on site to ensure a holistic approach to learning is achieved. We offer lots of exciting projects and tasks in work skills to support the development of that learner. This includes sports and fitness, hydrotherapy, rebound therapy, equine therapy, Lego therapy, garden projects and life skills to name a few. Our aim with work skills learners is to slowly transition them into their chosen vocational area with sessions tailored around supporting their core development and needs. Work skills curriculum is an exciting, fun and bespoke programme that is tailored to meet the needs of each individual learner who require that little bit of extra support. 
big part of your learning will come from the opportunity to go out to work. You can work on site, but also at external work placements. These include Premier Inn, the spa, the local library, restaurants, and we have our own cafe at the local train station. We work with industry partners, so our students have the best experience and are always working to industry standards. I'm Neil Bevan, and I run a graphic design, marketing and app development company. I'm also an industry champion for the Retail Pathway at Derwin College. An industry champion is a voluntary role and it brings in people from business and commerce to make the learning environment at Derwin College as close to the real world of work as possible. We advise on various curriculum areas and help the team at Derwin to implement real life business processes and procedures to help with their workflow. Industry champions also get involved in college open days, judging competitions and general college life. I was instrumental in setting up the programme of apps to help the young people to gain work skills through work experience, work placement and leading to employment when they leave college. Being an industry champion is a really rewarding role and it's great to see how the students flourish in such an environment as that at Derwin College. Hello, I'm Penny Perry and I'm Transition and Supported Internship Coordinator here at Durham College. A supported internship is a type of study programme. It's made up of two elements, work placement and college-based learning, where the intern works towards a long-term outcome of paid work. To be an intern, you have to have the aspiration to work and the ability to do this without support by the end of the programme. It is also important that your parents are happy to support you with this as, unlike an apprenticeship, a supported internship doesn't pay you for the work that you do on placement. Derwin College supports both the learner and their work placement employer so that the employer understands the intern's abilities and qualities and the learner understands what is expected of them within the workplace. Please contact me if you'd like any further information about how this could work for you. Let's take a look at where you will be living. We have different residences on site with different levels of support depending on your needs. You might be in a residence like this or you might be in a bungalow sharing with another student. Wherever you live you will learn to plan, cook and make your own meals, make choices and learn independent skills to help you to look after yourself and your home. Hello, my name's Helen Owen. I'm the Independence Manager here at Derwin College. At Derwin, independence happens all the time and is a core part of life at college. You all have been supported to make appropriate choices of what to wear, for work, for the weather and for going out. You'll be helped to plan your meals and to make food choices for what you'd like to eat, including some healthy options. We know that some of you will have dietary requirements and we will help you with that. Making your meals from breakfast through to your evening meal is part of the independence journey. You'll be cooking for yourself and you might cook for others in your household or invite your friends over for your birthday meal. With lots of celebration and seasonal meals that you'll be included in. You'll be supported with shopping for your food and personal items in local shops and in larger shops and supermarkets. You'll be able to develop your skills in looking after yourself and your home, which includes doing the laundry, ironing and household work. We'd like students, once they're home for the holidays, to carry on with this work so that they don't lose the skills that they've learnt. Travel training is a really important part of our journey. It includes walking, using a range of public transport and ordering and using taxis. It's important for students when they first come to Derwin for them to have a bus pass 
from their own local area which they can use to, to go onto the buses um, once they're at college. Travel training is about being able to go to the places that you want to go to. We help students to learn how to plan and arrange their journeys, both long and short. This means that when you leave college, you'll have more independent skills, which means that you'll have more choice about where you live, where you work and how you socialise. At doing college, independence matters. Hi, my name's Emma and I'm a lead practitioner here at Derwin College. The day student experience at Derwin College is based in Corner House and that's situated in the centre of our site. Here at day students, you can sign in when you arrive in the morning at Corner House and then you can leave your luggage within the lockers provided and work will start at 9am. During your morning and afternoon breaks, day students can access the student union the Bradbury Centre as well as Corner House. Students will plan and make their own lunches at Corner House with support and can relax here whilst they're not at work. We have a dedicated team of care and independent staff all based at Corner House throughout the day to support you with all your needs. As a day student you will have access to college trips as well as to extracurriculum activities including the Duke of Edinburgh Awards. Hello, my name is Peter Leddington. I'm the Satellite Manager for Derwent College, overseeing uh, Derwent at Walford and Derwent Craven Arms. Both satellites offer bespoke programmes of uh, study, developing and enhancing independence, health and wellbeing skills, embedding and discrete functional skills groups with a wealth of enrichments to stretch and challenge our learners. Derwent at Craven Arms offers BTEC Vocational Studies and Business Administration, which is based at level one, and employability skills which are all transferable into the work experience placements which are supported by our job coach which is on site. Our team are currently working with 11 employers in the surrounding area of Craven Arms building confidence, transferable and employability skills. Doing at Walford has three curriculum pathways Art and Design, BTEC Introductory to Vocational Studies Level 1, Sports and Fitness BTEC Introductory in Sports Level 1, Horticulture is the Sitting Girls Practical Horticulture, which is based at level one, which is more practical elements. We also provide Sitting Girls, uh, skills for working life at the entry levels. We also offer linked work experience to each uh, of those chosen pathways. We're particularly proud of our in-house garden service company, Leaping to Us, which provides local homeowners and businesses and garden services. Hi, I'm Karen George, I'm Director of Care, Clinical and Therapies. Here at Durham College we have a range of therapy services to support our young people to ensure they are able to get the very best from their time with us. We have a team of very skilled therapists. Our team includes learning disability nurses, counsellors, occupational therapists and speech and language therapists. Our approach to therapy delivery falls into three main categories. Our universal approach, our specialist approach, and our targeted approach. This model is, a pers is very person-centered, which is based on the needs of the individual. Some examples of the therapy services we offer here at college is Lego therapy, sensory diet and approaches, we have a fabulous hydrotherapy facility. The college is Makaton friendly and has a network of qualified Makaton tutors. All of our therapy teams strive to enable our young people to develop the skills for their life. Hello, my name is James and I'm a Makaton tutor here at Deering College. So let's talk about Makaton. 
and how we'll use it to help you at college. We're proud to be Makaton friendly at Durham College and also to work closely with the Makaton charity. This will help you to learn at work, in your residences and also when you go out into the community to communicate with staff and people out in the community. We also have lots of fun with Makaton here at college. With our Makaton choir and also Jesse's spoken to you about our Doing on Tour group which do lots of signing, sign and song. It's not all work though, there are opportunities to take part in lots of activities and sports. We have a gym, a swimming pool, a sports hall and a sports field. You can go on trips at weekends and to clubs in the evenings. We also have a student union for discos and with a games area. There are lots of quiet areas too for you to chill and relax. There is a flowchart of our admissions process on our website, but the most important thing to do is to get in touch. It's never too late or too early to do this. You can click the admissions button on the front screen of our website for more information. Now, let's meet the admissions team, who will be here after the event to take your calls and emails. We are also available from 8.45 to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. Hi, my name is Richard Opie. I'm the Admissions Coordinator. Hi, my name is Penny Perry. I am Transition and Supported Internship Coordinator working in the Admissions team. Hi, my name is Jordan Eccleston and I am the Admissions and Progressions Administrator in the Admissions team. Don't just take our word for it. Here are some parents and students sharing their views about Derwin College. Hi, my name is Pam and my son Carter is in his third year at Derwin College. Um, I've just been asked to share a little bit of our experience in choosing Derwin and Carter's time there. Um, if I'm completely honest, five years ago, if someone mentioned residential college, uh, I would just shake my head uh, and say that Carter wasn't ready to move away from home or perhaps is that we weren't ready for him to go uh, but as the time started drawing near and we started researching some of our local colleges we realized that none of them offered a course that Carter was actually interested in doing they also didn't allow um, for him to experience the level of independence in a safe environment that seemed appropriate for a college student 
uh, which made us start looking at residential colleges as an option. When we visited Derwin, everything changed. Um, the first thing we noticed was how happy everybody was. And not just the students, the staff, you know, that everyone was so happy to be there. The staff genuinely loved their jobs and you could see it. They were so engaged with the young people. Um, it was also brilliant for us to see the young people walking around independently or in small groups of friends around campus. It was just kind of like a mini university with the student union and you know the clubs and activities going on. And honestly, something lit up in Carter that day and we decided then and there that Derwin was going to be the best place for Carter, the best chance for him to ultimately um, learn those skills to live a more independent life. Um, the best advice I can give about the admissions process is really to get to know your admissions team. Um, they're a great source of information, a great source of support. They're with you every step of the way to answer questions, um, offer advice. Also, I know it's difficult to visit campuses at the moment, um, so it's really good to check out their social media pages and website. Um, it'll give you a chance to see the staff in action and um, see their enthusiasm for engaging with the students and celebrating all of their achievements. So for us, Carter um, definitely made the right decision in choosing to go to Derwin College. Um, he's thrived there and although we're very sad that his time uh, at college is coming to an end, um, he's leaving a very confident and capable young man equipped with the independent skills and the work experience needed to help him go forward in his life. The independence, what appealed to us about Derwin was when he first arrived at Derwin, he was in a halls of residence where perhaps he was more looked after, perhaps where there was a catered uh, meal time. That was really appealing as a way of settling in. But you could see two or three years down the line, the opportunity to live a more independent lifestyle in a bungalow, which is where Tom is now. That appealed to us because we could see the progression for Thomas over time, more so than we could see in other colleges. We were also uh, particularly enthused by the fact there were a significant number of residential students and that allowed uh, for a greater experience for Thomas, at least that's what we, we feel. When we decided that residential college was what we wanted for JC, the first thing we did was have a look at the NatSpec directory and we found this really useful. Once we decided on Derwin, we came for a visit. As soon as we arrived, we knew exactly what we wanted for him. Everybody was so welcoming and Josie felt at home straight away. We attended all the assessment sessions that were offered, which was really useful because it confirmed that this was where we wanted him to be. The change in Joseph was almost instant. He became a lot more independent and a lot more confident. In the early days, the conversations on the telephone were really just one way, but now he likes nothing more than just to phone us up and have a good old chat. He even phones family and friends just to tell them what he's been up to. Joseph has always been really interested in sport and Derwin have really encouraged this. From playing for the Shropshire Cricket Disability Team through to then going and playing tennis in Telford. He spends lots of time in the gym and he also has been to the dry ski slope in Birmingham. It's been amazing, they've really encouraged him in every way. Now when he comes home, he even does his own washing, sometimes without being prompted. He can do his own lunch and even make a cup of coffee for me. But most of all, Joseph is happy here. He's really enjoyed his time at Derwin and I think that's the most important thing. He's made lots of good friends and he's learned lots of life skills that will help him now and in the future. And who knows, one day they may even help him to get himself employment. I would highly recommend Derwin. Joseph's had a really lovely time here. Hello, my name is Sam Ennis. I'm a retail student and I help with volunteering in the retail department and in the Carton Print Shop. In the Carton Print Shop, I do many jobs. One of them that I enjoy would be taking orders 
from external customers. I also work in the garden centre in which I like to be by the till as I get to meet and greet customers and that helps me become confident. Okay. And on work experience I work at Seven Trend and Oza Street Market at Seven Trend I help with doing a lot of their fire safety checking. I am there as I'm also their receptionist who who is allowed to use the high security CCTV to come to let their customers in and out within a reason. I am also allowed to tell anyone off for tailgating. I go bagpacking at a supermarket in Oz Street and I enjoy it as I get to meet other customers and if they want help packing their bags I will help and also on in the Oz Street market which I missed out earlier I enjoy working there not only I meet customers like I would do I also like to try to get them to buy products from us and our soup to help the college. Overall, I feel that my volunteering works everywhere as it makes me more confident and helps me try to get a job when I leave college. Thank you for joining us today. I hope this event has given you a taste of what we have on offer here at Derby College. Don't forget that the admissions team are standing by now to answer your calls and emails, so do please get in touch if you have questions. You can also download your free Take Home Activity resource on the website, which we really hope that you'll enjoy. I'm delighted you've been able to join us for this virtual open day and look forward to welcoming you in person very soon.